When I was in high school, I was delighted to be invited over to a friend's house to join some of my buddies to play poker. I had not played poker before, and it was just nice for the social time. And when we were done, I think my friends had had a great time because I left without any money. I, I discovered a few years ago, uh, actually in 1973 when the movie uh, The Sting came out, why they wanted to play poker with me. Now, if you remember in The Sting, there's, this more, there's, there's Doyle Lonigan, played by Robert Shaw. He's the big gangster. And then there's Henry Gondolf, who's, who's Paul Newman. Johnny Hooker, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, Robert Redford. And they're going to have a con on the big con man. And so part of it is this big poker game on a train. And they have to find out what Doyle Lonigan's tell is. Now, the, the tell is the way he signals how he's going to make a move or change or do something. And the very best of poker players evidently try to keep their faces blank, their hands blank. Well, e evidently in the movie it works out well for, you know, the con man, Henry Gondorf and whatever. And when I play poker with my friends, guess what? With this face, there is no chance of me hiding anything. <laughs> So my tell was just naturally being very open, and so the, naturally they got all the money. Now, I, I, in the early years of my ministry when I preached, I had another interesting tell because it was coming out of my nervousness, I guess, in the, in, in the way that I like to preach without notes and much the way you see now, and I didn't know what to do with my hands. So eventually my hands during the sermon would go like this, and I'd start to do this without thinking about it. And of course, after the sermon, my children would come up with me, oh, Daddy, you did the fishies again. Daddy does the fishies. So that would be my tell during, during the sermon. Now, there's an interesting thing in today's gospel. You can also not only have a physical tell, which is being able to be seen and understood, whether, you, whether you're signaling it intentionally or not, all right? But you can have a written tell as well. And so in this wonderful prologue to John's gospel, uh, in the beginning was the word, etc., it ends in verse 18. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. I like to write, and if you go through my writing, you will see it shows up quite frequently the love of God made known to us in Jesus Christ. Made known. The love of God made known to us in Jesus Christ. And so really, when we're on this uh, moment of leaving the year 2017, everybody go like this, okay, and we're moving into the year 2018 with hope and, and expectation, uh, what will we bring what is it to bring making the love of God known to us in Jesus Christ to others? So really we can start to think about what, we're, what will our tell be like in the year 2018? How would somebody know we are followers of Jesus? Uh, how, how would they feel and accept and embrace that love? And so one of the things we can think about is what will our tell be in the year 2018. And, and I think if we hear the words from um, John 3.16, we begin to understand how some people who are Christians find a way to give a tell. And those words are, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that everyone who believes in him shall not perish or will not perish, but have eternal life. And, and often what that that phrase that John 3.16 evokes for people is the, you got to follow Jesus. If you don't follow Jesus, you're in a lot of trouble. And it's almost as if their hands go out and they start using one hand and start pointing. Have you ever been in front of somebody who starts moving their hand like that? That's a tell, where they start trying to gesture in such a way to get your attention. You often want to pull back when, when they do that. I would say that for us, John 3.16 is correct because it speaks about the love of God made known in Jesus Christ. 
but it's an invitation to find that love. Remember, Jesus is talking to Nicodemus who has come to him in the darkness, seeking the light. And you need to remember to hear John 3, 17 as Jesus continues. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through Him. Not condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through Him. This invitation, the tell that I think that comes from this invitation, is not finger pointing, but arms open in a loving embrace and pulling one closer as he was doing to Nicodemus. I did not condemn you. I did not come to condemn you. I come to love you. I come to be loved amongst you. Now, you have heard me say over and over again, but I think it's appropriate in this context, uh, a guiding statement such as Bishop Brent's colic formation. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So I think within that sense of what our mission could be in the year 2018 is to be part of that saving embrace. And as, as the prayer goes on, so clothe us in your spirit that we reaching forth our hands in love reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. So to make the love of God known in Jesus Christ, I think we're called to embrace, to love. It, it's, 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 it's a huge difference from the way the world often operates to separate. We're trying to pull all in. Pull all in. Now, when you really think about a tell, you know, you could do the thing with your nose to say, I've got this done here. You know, it was all through the movie, this sting. But if we think about it in the sense of what God is doing, has been doing, is doing, and will be doing, and if we think about what we celebrated on Christmas, the incarnation, God's coming in flesh in the world in Jesus, I think that's God's biggest tell, that we see God's love. Nobody has seen the love of God except through the Son, through Jesus. Jesus, God's ultimate tell, made known through us with the arms open in love, is the way that we bring that sense of love to everybody else. So if we invite people to the table, we don't invite them to take something away from them as perhaps my high school friends wanted to do to me. We invite them to the table to give them something. The love of God made known in Jesus Christ. All these words I offer in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.